Distinguished delegates, special guests, I am very pleased to join you for the first regular session of the UN Women Executive Board. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the members who are guiding us through these turbulent times, as well as the entire 2019 board for their strong support. We know that we can count on them for continued support because they are gender equality champions. 2020 is a massive year for gender equality. As most of you probably know, this year marks the 25th anniversary of the 4th World Conference on Women and also the adoption of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action from 1995. Across the globe, women's movements are now stronger and more numerous than ever before. Over the last decade, feminist movements have acquired a new dynamic and visibility because of the activism of young people. Thousands of young feminists from all over the world are now actively involved in different issues that affect their lives personally, while also challenging us to do more. They are impatient for systemic change and their voices must be heard and acted upon. There are more young people alive today than ever before. Almost one person in four is aged between 10 and 24. And in many countries, under 25s make up over half the population. Yet, young people are still largely excluded from the decisions that affect their lives and the societies they live in. In some instances, they are even considered to be disinterested, ignorant of politics and society, unskilled, and unable to contribute to democratic discourse. Nevertheless, young women are mobilising alongside young men, fighting for the right to play a full part in shaping today and tomorrow. They are the leading voices for progress in gender equality and political, economic and social empowerment. In 2015, we witnessed the birth of Ni Una Menos, or Not One Less, a feminist movement dedicated to end the brutal sexual violence and murder of women and girls. It started in Argentina and quickly spread across all Latin America, Spain and the US. Five years later, we still see young women demanding an end to femicides and the oppression of women, lesbians and trans people. Young feminists also have a central role in the global movement Me Too, which provides a source of solidarity for women from all different backgrounds who have experienced any kind of sexual harassment. But the examples are countless. The Actua movement in Bolivia, the I Will Go Out protest in India, or the Cuentalo movement in Spain, which emerged in response to the gang rape case known as La Manada. To support these movements and amplify their message, UN Women has created a global gathering for gender equality the Generation Equality Forum. Its aim will be to launch a set of concrete, ambitious and transformative actions to achieve irreversible progress towards gender equality. Through this movement, UN Women calls for the mobilisation of young feminists and gender equality activists in every country to amplify the voice and leadership of young women 
on the local, country, regional and ultimately global level. 2020 represents a key moment for the engagement of gender equality advocates from every sector of society. Remember, defending gender equality is a necessity in upholding human rights. And considering that no country has yet achieved gender parity, it is fair to say that we have much work to do. Thank you very much.